In the small LA community of San Pedro sits the hidden gem of the sunken city, a rocky and colorful seaside spot. Its rugged terrain is the result of several landslides that had occurred in San Pedro starting in 1929. The neighborhoods on the edge of Paseo del Mar slowly slid into the sea, and while residents were evacuated, many homes, bungalows, streets, buildings, and streetcar tracks went over the edge. Throughout the 1930s and 40s, roughly five acres of the coastline fell into the ocean. The remains of the fallen structures make up the iconic and unique landscape of the cliffside, which has been featured in movies and TV shows such as The Big Lebowski and Fear the Walking Dead. Today, the land is still sliding, which is why it is now fenced off from the neighborhood and the adjacent park Point Furman. However, the colorfully graffitied building remains and dazzling ocean view make it an attractive hangout spot for locals and tourists alike. Okay, so I'm now on the actual grounds of the sunken city, and um, from up here it doesn't really look like much. I mean, you've got some pretty neat ruins over here. You've got this what used to be uh, an entire street that sort of went off the cliff. And as you continue forward, you can see so much more. So what can you do there? Well, you can hike up and down the trail surrounded by tall, colorful rocks. You can chill by yourself or with friends. You can take a bunch of photos. You can walk along the rocky beach or just enjoy the view. If you are planning to visit, do so with extreme caution. There's a lot of steep slopes, tall cliffs, and broken glass. So explore at your own risk. If you come here every couple months, you'll see newer graffiti, more vibrant. That's new. Wasn't there last time. And some old stuff that's probably been here for a decade or more. And also litter, unfortunately. People kind of get turned here. Looks like some sort of pipe. underground pipe maybe at one point there's the under ed other end of it perhaps and then one of the coolest parts I'm gonna try to climb this slab thing here is this tree stump that's just been repeatedly graffitied throughout the years it's a different color every time Adjacent to the sunken city is Point Furman Park, also a really cool place in its own way. It has an old lighthouse and the Korean Bell of Friendship. The bell was donated to Los Angeles in 1976 by South Korea in commemoration of 200 years of U.S. independence, veterans of the Korean War, and a friendship between the two nations. Finally, down by the beach, there are tide pools filled with little hermit crabs and anemone.